Welcome back in college basketball. Today is the Big 12 SEC Challenge Day, and the Bears, they faced Alabama for the first time here in Waco. Now, heading into the matchup, Alabama led the all-time series 6-1 to one, with their last meeting dating back to 2009, where the Crimson Tide won by three points. And the Bears, they have played well in the Big 12 SEC Challenge as they entered the game tied for the best in the league at 4-1. and one. We'll pick it up in the first half. Bears down by two, and King McClure hits the three-point shot to go in front 27-26. to 26. Six. Later on, Bears up by four in transition. Matthew Mayer hits vital for the dunk, and it's good, extending their lead 36 to 30, and that was the score heading into the break. Second half now, Bears down by two. Freddie Gillespie feeds Vital, and he finishes with yet another dunk to tie the game up at 43. Vital provided a key spark for Baylor as the score was tied 12 times in addition to 12 lead changes. And later in the second tie game at 56, Riley Norris pulls up for the jumper and sinks that 4-3 for Alabama to go back in front, but that would be their biggest lead the remainder of the game. And now the Bears on top by four right here with just over two to play. Devontae Bandu. Steals the pass right here, breaks down court, has two defenders on him, but takes it all the way to the rim, and it's good, extending their lead 67 to 61. The Bears, they finish strong, holding off Alabama to win 73 to 68, marking their fourth consecutive win, which is impressive considering how well they've done after losing Clark in such short and of just a few games. Now the Bear, they only returned three lettermen this season, which was the lowest among all Power 5 schools. However, preseason rankings really have no bearing on the final standings. Who's ever predicted to win or should win doesn't always win. And uh, you can't measure someone's heart. You can't measure uh, how people are going to play for each other and how much they're going to care and how they're going to work and how they're going to develop during the year. And who's going to be able to go to class and get rest and focus on winning and who's going to enjoy the social life of college. So um, it's kind of like the NBA. They, they try to decide who they can pay money to and not have them worry about getting out of shape and enjoying the money rather than staying on the grind and then getting better.